molecules heating, gases expanding, atoms colliding, uh, matter exploding. It's just fucking brilliant. <laughs> We can volunteer ourselves at the National Wildlife Refuge. It's right downstream. You know, every month we can go help pick up trash, count birds, whatever they need done. I've got $67.08. That'll get you to New York. Where are you going to go after that? Some place where I don't have to go to moron school. Hey, what class do we have now? Math? Before Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, Mark Ruffalo, and Chris Hemsworth would be cast in the first Avengers film released in 2012. Guys, call it, Captain. Before their characters would go their separate ways and bring us standalone sagas in the Marvel canon, including Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, and the rest. Before the Avengers would reunite for Age of Ultron, Civil War, Infinity War, and the most anticipated release of 2019 with Endgame. Now, have you ever wondered who is the senior in Robert Downey Jr.? Did you know that once upon a time he was arrested for driving down Sunset Boulevard naked? Now, I've digged up some interesting facts and video clips from all your favorite actors and Avengers here for you in this video. Now, some of them, they were born rich, and some, not so much. Regardless, they all put in years and years of hard work into their craft to make it to the top of Hollywood and become the biggest stars on the planet. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCrudden, and it's good to be back here on my channel. Jeremy, he's been doing one heck of a job, you know, filling in in my absence. Now, I'm a big fan of his little Nas X video that he dropped recently because that country song's everywhere and I think it's gonna stay. Now, believe it or not, we actually have never done it before their famous video on any of these actors. Let me know uh, in the comments down below who's your favorite Avenger and why. Now, let's get into this video. I haven't done this in a while. I'm actually a little rusty. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Kicking things off with Robert Downey Jr., who was born on April 4th, 1965 in New York. His father, an actor and filmmaker, he got his young son into show business at a very young age. It made my hair disappear. Have any hair on your bowl? He also got Robert into drugs, especially early on, and he would bond with his boy over booze, blunts, and God knows what else. Now, as a kid, Robert, he bounced around from New York. He spent time in England, where he practiced in ballet. And for his teenage years, he lived in Santa Monica in California before dropping out of high school to make the move to New York to be an actor. Now, his first steady gig was on the 1985 season of Saturday Night Live. And this season is by and large considered the worst season in the show's history. And Robert Downey Jr., well, he was ranked by Rolling Stone as the show's worst cast member of all time. He still did get to make out with Madonna, though. From the 90s and into the 2000s, well, Robert, he received plenty of acclaim for his work as an actor, but he also made some serious headlines for his substance abuse issues. In 96, the actor was stopped by the police for driving naked in his Porsche on Sunset Boulevard, and he was found in possession of cocaine, heroin, and a .357 Magnum. Yeah. A couple weeks later, he was found passed out outside a neighbor's house. He spent some time in prison and in rehab. And then in 2000, he was arrested again in a Palm Spring hotel room, this time wearing a Wonder Woman costume. And again, he was in possession of some drugs. He eventually got his act together and began working his way back up the ladder, starting with TV appearances before moving back into film. Director John Favreau, he insisted on Robert Downey Jr. for the role of Iron Man, but the studio, they didn't like it. And eventually, well, he took the gig, but they only paid him 500 grand. Think she wants the calendar? <laughs> All right, let's move on to Chris Evans. Fishing here is a waste. The water's so polluted that if we ever caught anything, we have to throw it back. And look, look at all the trash. Christopher Robert Evans was born on June 13, 1981 in Boston, Massachusetts, and he was raised in the nearby town of Sudbury. Now his father, Robert, he was a dentist, and his mother, Lisa, a dancer turned youth theater director who raised her four children as performers, all singing and dancing. Chris took an interest in sports, but he fell in love with acting and fast forward through his schooling to start training in New York City. In 1999, he was getting bit parts as a model for the Hasbro board game, Mystery Day. Remember this, anyone? You got it. He solved the mystery. I don't, I, I remember because my sister. Anyway, it turns out he wasn't Brian, he was Tyler. 
Tyler the surfer. Mm -hmm. in oh this man, this is just You're passing out like pamphlets. Just that is just <laughs> existing online. Two years later, he was the lead in not another teen movie. Now it would take a decade before he would become Captain America, but not before he suited up as the Human Torch in the Fantastic Four and Lucas Lee in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. The next cook you hear is me hanging up. The one after that is me pulling the trigger. All right, now we're moving on to ScarJo. Would you forget about the stupid game? Now close it up and put it away. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, that's in fact her real name. Now she was born on November 22nd, 1984 in New York City, and she had the creative arts in her blood. Her Danish grandfather, he worked as a screenwriter and director, and her mother, she worked as a producer. Now she expressed a strong interest in the arts as a child through music, dance, and of course acting. She got started as young as eight, mainly in minor roles and then in indie films. She had her big breakthrough with Lost in Translation in 2003, and then she took on the role of Black Widow, making her first appearance in 2010's Iron Man 2. When we arrive, I need you to watch the perimeter. I'm gonna enter the facility and take down the target. At Black Widow, she'll be getting her own standalone film coming soon. Now, Jeremy Renner, he was born on January 7th, 1971 in Modesto, California, and his parents, they managed a bowling alley. Now, he grew up with four siblings and he attended Bayer High School and later Modesto Junior College. He explored different career options, including computer science, criminology, and psychology before the theater department caught his eye, but he still wasn't convinced. It was a gig with the local police academy he booked through his drama class, where he would play a domestic disturbance perpetrator as part of a police training program. His payout, 50 bucks. Now that was enough for him to drop out of school and go all in as an actor. Now he worked long and hard clocking in credits from 1995 in projects you probably haven't heard of, like Senior Trip. Take a look, Senior Trip. Yeah, it sounds like something I'd watch. You two dopers are still roaming the halls. Why aren't you two at the assembly? Principal Moss, we've been looking everywhere for you. What are you talking about? This guy just totally trashed your car. In 2003, he booked a gig in the film SWAT, 2005, Lords of Dogtown, and he started becoming one of those guys you see in a lot of movies, but you don't know his name. Well, that all changed when he landed the role of Staff Sergeant William James in The Hurt Locker. Now, this film went on to receive six Oscar wins and put Renner on the map. He made his first appearance in the MCU in 2011, which was in Thor, and it was an uncredited appearance. Last chance to it. Wait, I wanna see this. Next up, we have the Hulk, Mark Ruffalo. He was born in Kenosha, Wisconsin, to a hairdresser and to a construction painter. Now, mom was the hairdresser, and dad was the painter. I'm assuming you, you, you guessed that. Now, following high school, Mark, he moved with his family to San Diego, where he began taking acting classes. He fell in love with the performing arts and co-founded the Orpheus Theater Company, where he worked every gig in the biz from actor to writer, director to producer, and even as a crew member, you know, working the lights and building sets so they could put on plays. Now, to keep money in his pockets, well, he worked as a bartender for nearly nine years. He got his big break on the stage, but his film credits dating back as far as the early 90s. Now, things ramped up in the late 2000s, I remember seeing him in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and he took over as the Hulk from Eric Bana and Edward Norton in 2012. I'm always angry. Wrapping things up with Chris Hemsworth. Now, believe it or not, we've actually made it before they were famous on this man, but that was a while back. And to be honest, well, Azzy, well, she's a lot better to look at than me. So take a look. On August 11, 1983, Chris Hemsworth was born in Melbourne, Australia. His mother, Leonie Van Oss, was an English teacher and his father, Craig Hemsworth, was a social service counselor, which may have influenced Chris's future charity work for abused children. Although he's Australian, his ethnicity is quite mixed and he comes from Dutch, English, Scottish and Irish descent. He also has two brothers, an older brother named Luke and a younger brother named Liam. Chris came from humble beginnings in Melbourne, Australia, but that didn't stop him from finding his love for the arts and getting himself on the nation's biggest soap opera, making him famous down under while still in his late teens. Mate, you don't have to do this. You know what? I am not doing anything. You wanted a career as an actor. Seriously, whatever this is, you're trying to cheer me up or distract me, I'm fine. Okay. In 2007, he made the move to Los Angeles, quickly found work as George Kirk in Star Trek, and then he became Thor in 2011. This drink, I like it. 
I know, it's great, right? Another! All right, I'm wrapping up this video here. If we missed any of the other actors you wanted us to talk about, you gotta let us know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys in another video. That's right, I do still work here. Just sometimes, you know, I get sick or whatever. All right, guys, my name is Michael McCrud. Let me know who your favorite Avenger is in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the film, and I'll see you guys in another video.